In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms to create um, a quiz for your students. So, create new. We're going to create a form. And this is the blank form. Right now it's untitled. Um, we obviously want to give it a title and 7th graders in ELA in my district read a book called The Outsiders. So we're going to create an Outsiders quiz. And, and anytime I move between boxes, I'm just hitting the tab key. Um, I don't need to add a description for this. Obviously, if I was creating a quiz over certain chapters, then I could put uh, chapters 1 through 4 quiz or chapters 5 through 8. I have my students put last name, comma, first name. So it's easier on me when I go to put their grades in the grade book. Um, I don't need to put any help text with this. For question types, Google Form allows you to put different types of questions. You can do text, which is usually for shorter answers, paragraph text for longer answers. There's a multiple choice option. Check boxes if you want students to choose more than one answer from a list or choose from a list. Um, scale or grid, but for their name, we do just want to leave it at text. Going to make it a required question. Click done because I'm finished creating that question. Okay, so we have our first one created. For sample question two, they go ahead and give you two questions on there. After that, you have to add your own item. We come over here and this is where we can edit. We can duplicate a question or we can delete a question. And as you create questions, you have those three options. So for this one, we obviously want to edit the question. And this question is going to be, what gang was Pony Boy in? I'm not going to put any help text. Um, the question type for this one, I want to make it multiple choice because there's only one correct answer out of this. And I'm only going to put three choices on here. Okay, I'm finished with that question. I do want to make it required. Um, if a student doesn't answer a required question within the form, then it won't let them submit the form. So anything that you want to make sure they answer, you want to make sure that you make it a required question. So we're done with that one. And let's add another question. Let's, let's make this one check boxes. And for the question title, who were the Curtis brothers? I made it checkbox because there's going to be more than one answer, and here are options. Remember, I'm tabbing to get to each new, uh, each new box. You could also just click on it. And we're going to scroll down so we can see our options. So we have our options for our checkbox, that one. All right, I'll show you guys one more type question. I'll show you what the paragraph text looks like. So this question is going to be, why did Johnny kill the Soch? And for help text on this one, I'll just put, please answer using complete sentences. And we want to leave it at paragraph text. And notice that it has room for a longer answer. going to make it a required question. We're going to tell it we're done with this question. Another thing you can do within the form is you can rearrange the questions. Like let's say I changed my mind. I want this question second. I want this one first. All you do is you click and drag and it'll change the order of the questions. So that's a pretty neat option. Okay. Now it does save it automatically, but if it's just not fast enough for you, you can click the save button. Um, it does save it usually every, I think, 10 to 20 seconds, somewhere in there. Another thing I really like about Google Forms is you can change the theme. You click on theme at the top. These are all the different themes that you can have. And if you look, this is 20 out of 97 themes. I'm going to choose this one because it's about a book. And this is what our quiz is going to look like when we're finished. Make sure to click apply to apply the theme. And if you're finished adding questions, then you're finished with this part of the form. 
we're going to click right here where we can view the published form and this is what our students are going to see. I'm going to go ahead and take the quiz just so you can see um, what it's going to look like in the spreadsheet when we go back to Google Home and you can uh, open it up from there. So what game was Pony Boy in? He was a greaser. These are the Curtis brothers. And why did Johnny kill the Soch? Notice our help text is a little bit lighter right underneath the question. No, I would never accept that as an answer from students, but I'm not going to make you sit through me typing an entire answer to this. So we're going to click Submit. We have our thank you message. I'm going to close these out, and we're going to go back to our home page. I'm going to refresh just to make sure it took my answers. Click on the Outsiders quiz. And what you're going to see is um, the quiz. It only has my answers in it right now. Obviously, as more students take the quiz, the spreadsheet will be populated with their name and their answers. It also has a timestamp. You can see the day and the date that they took it. And from here, um, let's say you want to go back to the form, click on form. You can edit the form. You can send the form. Go to the live form embedded in a web page. So there are lots more options that I don't have time to get into right now, but they are there. Uh, Flubaroo is something that will turn this form into a self-grading quiz, which will be a great convenience. So you can actually use this pretty much for anything. You can use a Google form um, as a pretest to see what students know before you start a unit or before you start a lesson. Obviously, it can be a post-test after instruction. If you want to create a form, use it as an exit ticket at the end of class. Students fill it out. You can see what they learned during that particular lesson.